Tying a tie is an important task that will help you look professional in any settings. Cross the white end of the tie over the narrow end. Make sure the white end is much longer than the narrow end, and drape it around your neck. Cross the white end over the narrow end once more and pull it tight. Now slide the white end through the loop end behind your neck. Pull the white end up and over the knotted area of the tie. Holding the knot firmly, you can now adjust the length of the tie to how you want. Take the white end and bring it over from left to right. Then, take the white end and tuck it into the loop from front to back. Take the white end and bring it back over the loops to the front. Next, you need to take the white end and pull it downwards until tight. Tuck the white end into the knot from the right side. Tightening the knot by pulling gently on both sides of the knot. Also, make sure there is no space between the collar and the tie. Once you have the knot in place, tuck the narrow end of the tie into the back of the tie loop. To finish, firmly secure the narrow end by sloping down the tie. After that, adjust the position of the knot to your preference. The aim should be to make sure the knot is not too high or too low. Everyone ties a tie differently, but the instructions provided should be helpful. Make sure to repeat the process a few times to get the hang of it. A classic 4-in hand knot is the most common way of tying a tie. An Eldridge knot is another popular option that looks more sophisticated. With practice, you can also master the Atlantic, the Windsor Knot, and the Half Windsor Knot. If you are attending a formal event, it's best to use the Windsor Knot. To tie a Half Windsor, start with the white end of the tie on your right and cross it over the narrow end.